Hey there, River here. Um, welcome to a beautiful, smoky, overcast day on the North Saskatchewan River. Beautiful summer. Um, today we are going to set up the sluice box down here and uh, get the water flowing and try and find some gold material. Um, I see there's a bunch of other people who have set up their sluices and dug pits and stuff like that around here. So. You know, hopefully they found gold, and hopefully we do too. Um, you know, there's some down there. There's more over there. So I figured right in the middle, we're on a nice, easy inside bend. So hopefully we can uh, find some gold. Okay, so what I've done here for my pickup is I've actually taken a bucket and drilled a bunch of holes in it so that the water can get in and it's got a foot valve on there. So that's gonna hold the water in. And then I put a bunch of rocks in the bottom of the bucket, put a rope on it and I'm gonna send her out pretty far, 20 feet I'll try and hopefully it's fully submerged and then we get our water up to our plant. <laughs> And then we can start washing rocks. So over here at the plant, like I was saying before, um, you know, I was just trying to keep everything pretty low budget. I did go a little overboard with the matting and, and that, but uh, you know, she is a very basic, simple plant. Um, high banker setup. You know, I got the PVC here the ABS with uh, holes all along here held down by pieces of aluminum um, you know barbecue grill for grizzly bars and hopefully everything washes down pretty good we got that mat there to settle everything out and yeah hopefully those riffles catch stuff Okay, I think I got everything worked out here. I had a slight issue with the dream mat. It was, I fired up the water and it just straight away floated down. Um, but we got a settling pond for all the water to go into. And, uh, you know, a little bit of leakage on the side, that's okay. But uh, we seem to have some good spray. Hopefully, Everything works once we start shoveling. So this is my my first time uh, gold sluicing and uh, prospecting, and uh, you know it's been a pretty fun adventure getting to this point. You know this thing, and you still have places to go. And so I mean, it's all just a win, really. I mean, if you find some gold, great. You know, it's all a learning experience. It's all. Uh,
So we've had a little bit of a malfunction. Uh, in here, I can, you can see my expanded metal only goes so far. And my miner's moss that is beyond that isn't really held down. And it's getting chock full of rocks. So, I mean, that's got to be an issue. <laughs> so I'll have to rectify that somehow. I think I'll, I think I'll just dig all that out and then put some big boulders in there to hold it all down. But uh, other than that, it seems to be working okay. I mean, I don't really, geez, I think that's a piece of gold right there. That's crazy. Oh, and more right there. Holy man. This is uh, kind of cool. Is that a gold? No, that's a rock. <laughs> All right. But it's still exciting. So. All right, so I've cleaned that out and stuck some big rocks down in there. Hopefully they don't float down the sluice box and this happens all over again. All we can do is try. Pull a Rick Ness on Gold Rush. Hit the bypass! I'm just kidding, we don't have a bypass. Now I'm thinking the thing to do is going to be to take out the mats and rinse them into the bucket and then like rinse out the box into the bucket and uh, for the second half of the day just kind of start fresh, I don't know. 
we're learning. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that after lunch and get the box cleaned out and uh, start fresh after lunch. Geez, I tell you, this year it's been uh, in Alberta with the heat and the humidity and the smoke, it's been some kind of a special place to hang out. Um, but uh, I think I figured out a fairly obvious fix for the, for the miner's moss coming up in the front. It should have been fairly obvious, but let's move all the expanded metal forward. So we got a little bit back here that's not covered, but whatever. No big deal. So that should sort that out. Got everything all cleaned out and finished lunch. Get back on the shovel. Um, of course, Dale is up to the grizzly bars now, and I don't want to show them too many times. So uh, I think we're going to go right back into the hole right now, and that'll be the end of that. Um, you know, definitely remembered that my back is attached. It is. It's reminding me it's there. Um, yeah, I had a good time out on the river today, and beautiful day. A little windy, but what are you going to do? Um, so now I'm just going to uh, take everything apart and clean everything up and get that uh, Gold Ridge Concentrate in the truck and get her back home and kind of go from there. Yeah, so just stay tuned for the uh, cleanup episode and take care.